Somebody sell me eat. Who is in the back? It's Mexicans. <laughs> but that's prophecy of God. It's God's word. <coughs> hard workers. They're hard workers. Can I say something too? If you go to Florida, Orlando, or Miami, you'll see them working outside when it's 100 degrees. And they be the ones working, working on the roads or building houses. You be like, damn, it's hot as hell. They be out there. Yeah. They're hard and they don't complain nothing. They just do the job. Uh, when I can't work in the sun, you know. They get yeah, red. yeah, they get red. No, no, no melanin, no pigment. Read that. Okay, uh, it says, and he saw that rest was good and the land that it was pleasant and bowed his shoulder <coughs> to bear and became a servant unto Chippy. Unto Chippy. Now, that's, <coughs> now, when people want to get somebody to work and do a servant or do a service, they get who this from. Unto Chippy. All the people complaining about the jobs being gone in America, it's not really the Mexicans taking them up. It's the curses from God. You know what I mean? It's, but they're blaming on our brothers, the Mexicans, and say they taking up all the jobs. <coughs> but the jobs been on their way out, man. Jobs been getting cut because God is cursing this place. That was it. We're going to jail. Zebulon. Zebulon again? That was that. That's it. That's it. Deuteronomy 33. <coughs> Zebulon. Zebulon? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Now you said. That's Satan. You said Issachar, right? And Zebulon, meaning the Aztecs and the Mayans, are they the same tribe? No, but they are very closely related. Read that. Okay. It says Deuteronomy 33 and 18. And of Zebulon he said, Rejoice, rejoice Zebulon, and thou going out. But it said, Rejoice Zebulon, and thou going out. Read. And Issachar, and thou tent. And thou tent. Meaning, Zebulon used to go out, and the Mexicans used to stay in their tents. <coughs> and the Mayans, which is Zebulon, they used to come down unto Issachar and do service with them. And do, um, you know, do dances and chants and so on, and do right ceremonies with them. Read it again. It says, <coughs> and of Zebulon he said, Rejoice, Zebulon, and thou going out. Rejoice and not going out, because Zebulon went out, the Mayans went out, and down to Issachar, read on. And Issachar and thou tents. And thou tents, read. They shall call the people unto the mountain. They shall call the people unto the mountains to gather them for the ceremony, read. There they shall offer sacrifice of righteousness. Right, because back then they kept the law. Later on they started, especially the Aztecs, that's the car, they started sacrificing infant babies and all of that. That's why the Lord raised the scrappers up to smash them, because they started sacrificing the Read. It says, for they shall suck of the abundance of the seeds. Right. And of treasures hid in the sand. <coughs> right, and, and like in the Zebulon and Panama, that's a lot of they rich in the sea, a lot of fish and all that. They rich in the, uh, the sea in the um, Panama Canal. That's it. Going to yeah. Right, but it show you how Zebulon and Issachar did ceremonies together, which is the Aztecs and the Mayans, <coughs> which is the Aztecs and the Mayans. Now today you. <coughs> you got a game called the MX-13. The MX, yo, what's that? MX-13. What is, nah, but it's 13 stands for the uh, M. Mafia. Right, but the, the um, it got um, Zebulon in it. Oh yeah, Salvador, Salvador. Right. Right. So the so the Mexicans and the, the uh, and Salvadorians, which makes up what the tribe of Zebulon, is still mingling together today, but do what games, which is wicked, man. <laughs> to show you how what the scriptures on point. That was it. Give me um. White man when they came over. 
the Indians doing dancing. Indians actually, they also have 45. They thought the Indians were doing rain dancing. It actually works, and they thought that was evil, and that's why they didn't throw them out. Right. We all connected to the Super Bowl. They had drops back there. They connected themselves with the ground. Yo! Uh, 13 and 40. 55 20. Right, because when you said when they came over, this is exactly what they did. It's recording the Bible. It says Psalms 55 and 20. He has put forth his hands against such as be at peace. Right, he put forth his hands. Hey, how you doing? The crackers came and such to be at peace with our brothers, the so-called Latinos. You know what I mean? That's why don't never celebrate Thanksgiving, especially if you so-called Hispanic. Especially if you so-called Hispanic. No, never celebrate that shit. You know what I mean? That's a day where they butchered our people. You know what I mean? I'm from the tribe of Judah, but even though the wrath wasn't mainly on us, it mainly hit the northern tribes harder, but that's just a satanic ass holiday. Thanksgiving. But the scriptures say what? It says, Psalms 55 and 20. He had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. But so the crackers came and made peace with the tribe of Asher, um, Ephraim and so on, the, the native of the, of the America. Read on. He had broken his covenant. But he had broken his covenant. And the scripture said over 450 peace treaties was made with our brothers, the um, northern kingdom. The so-called Hispanics. Over 450 peace treaties was made. Read. And guess how many was broken? Over 450. So the scripture said what? It says, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. That's an Indian like, yo, this guy is our friend. And he's giving these crackers today. How they come with they, they, they system and shit. Tell you to go to school and try to get you to tap into that financial aid and all that shit. And they talk to you smooth as hell. They're like, damn, this devil. You, you think he got something promising for you. You know what I mean? Right. But that's what we call him Satan. You know what I mean? Satan is more deceiving. Satan is not like, come here, motherfucker, go to school. You know what I mean? Satan is like, take it You know what I mean? It's cunning, conniving. You know what I mean? So it said the words of his mouth, his butt, was smoother than butter. The words of his mouth, these crackers' mouth, was smoother than butter, Reese. But war was in his heart. But war was in his heart. Talking about the Indians, talking about when they came, talking about the crackers when they came to come to our brothers in India. They said the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Read his words were softer than oil, his words were softer than oil. How he came with them. Read on. Yet were they drawn swords, but yet they still drawn their swords. And the Indians were, well, they were straight up peaceful with them. Only ones that really wasn't off of their bullshit was the truck from Ruben, the Seminoles down in Florida. They didn't go, they didn't take no, but that was prophecies though. It said Ruben, the excellency of my dignity. They ain't signed no agreements with them. They stood their ground as far as dealing with these crackers, but the crackers got it in with the so-called natives and made peace treaties with them and killed them all, slaughtered them, and took the land, which is America. You know what I mean? But the Lord is, is not over for our people. The Lord will rise us back up. And that's what is that's what is happening right now. Give me that, what you got? 13 and 40. <clears throat> Second Ezra's 13 and 4. 40. 13 and 40. 13 and 40. Those that are in the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osea the king. Right, they, they was carried away prisoners out of their own land during the Assyrian captivity, read on. Whom Salmanessa, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. Right, they came into another land, read. But they took this counsel among themselves. Right, the, the native, the tribe of Gad, the North American Indians, the Cubans, the Puerto Ricans, the um, Argentina, the Chile, Asher, the Mexicans, they all came together and took counsel amongst themselves, read. That they would leave the multitude of the heathen. Like, man, we gonna get away from these Assyrians. We gonna get away from these heathens. We gonna leave them and go and be amongst ourselves and do our own thing where we, where we can serve God ourselves without being oppressed by these heathens, read. 
and go forth into a further country. And these, these 10 tribes, these Hispanics or these Latinos came, or the white man called Indians, they went forth into another country, Reed, where never mankind dwell. And that's where? The America. The America. That's how we know that these these so-called Latinos or Hispanics, they are brothers. Think about it. You know what I mean? But they, they don't know that. Most of them look like that girl on oh, that. Uh, you know, yeah. we from North, we come out here and see our brothers out here, because we been in North like four years, just, you know what I mean, straight, uh, straight, non-stop. So they know what the deal is. They ain't want to repent, so we come out here to show our love for our brothers out here. But man, this is a, this is a Northern, or this is a Hispanic town. Dominant, but predominantly like Elizabeth. So you know how people come like, uh, yeah. they say that because they racist, they prejudice. I was about I mean? to ask that, like, this is spiritual, right? But like, you guys coincide this with racism? Like, is what, it, are y'all racist? What, what the Lord is? It I'm Puerto Rican. I'm just saying, like, but you are brother. But look, what you are brother? It like look. A, a, Spiritual base, like with, with coinciding with racism. You know what racism uh, means? Racism just means for your race. Yeah. Like if you say, like you my you, brother, but I'm just saying, like right. if you say like, I'm racist, right? I just, I just assume that because I already said crack. That, that's I'm gonna explain that to you, bro. Racist, racist just means for your race. If you say I'm a national, that means you just wipe your brother down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you say I'm a bicyclist, you yeah. don't do no other sport. <laughs> But ride and bike. When you say I'm a racist, it just means what? I'm for my race only. Yeah. Nobody else. But God is a racist. Yeah. Because God is only for what? The Israelites. Yeah. God is only for one people. Give me that in Second uh, Ezra six. We're gonna show you that God is a racist. He's only for what? One people. Now a bigot means you hate other races. Do we hate the other nations? Yes, we do. They hate us. The scriptures tell you they hate us. The Chinese man can't stand your guts. The African man can't stand your guts. You know what I mean? Um, it's these, you know how these crackers feel about us. That's the Ku Klux Klan who we hate. Niggas and spicks. Why them two? Because he, they know that what? We both are the children of the Lord. The Klan man, but I hate two type of people. Niggas and spicks. They'll tell you all that. Yeah. Why them two? Why, why them two group of people? Why? Because we the children of Israel. We brothers. Give me what you got. Second this Ezra, six and six. Hey, uh, and this proof that God knows no, that what? Um, this proof that God, um, no. the Lord is racist. Read. Then did I consider these things, and they were all made through me alone. Read. And through none other. <coughs> By me, they shall all be ended. God created everything, and he's going to end everything. Read. And by none other. Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? No. Or when shall the yeah. end of no, the no, first? No, no, no. 654. Oh, 53 and 54. Yeah. <clears throat> Over Adam. Right. <clears throat> Upon the sixth day thou gave commandments unto the earth. God created the earth in the sixth day, read. <clears throat> that before thee it shall bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. Animals and insects, read. And after these Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Of him come we all. Out of Adam come everybody, right? Chinese man, everybody. But God made nationalities out of Adam and separated them. Out of Adam come we all, right? Read. And, all, and the people also whom God has chosen. Even the people whom God has chosen. And who the Lord has chosen? Israel. Give me Isaiah 44 and 1. It says, Isaiah 44 and 1. It says, Yet now hear, O Jacob. Hear, O Jacob, read. My servant. And Jacob is the Lord's servant. If you're not from these 12 tribes, you can't serve the Lord. Jacob, my servant, read. And Israel, whom and, I, and Israel, what? Whom I have chosen. And the Lord has chosen Israel. Read. No, that's it. Go back. All this, all, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Because thou made the world for our sake. The Lord made the whole world for our sake, the 12 tribes of Israel. It's 12 months in a year. It's 12 tectonic plates in the earth. It's 12 signs of the zodiac. Going to going back to what? The 12 tribes of Israel. The, the Lord made the whole world. The Lord rolled with what? 12 disciples. He made the whole world for what? Our sake, free. As for the other people, 
which also come of Adam. And for the other people that come from Adam, not the Israelites, the Chinese man, the African man, the average like man. The Puerto Rican. They are brothers. Ephraim. They from the tribe of Ephraim. So yeah. we, basically, this is about oh. unity. As but far as with our, with our people though. With our people. Like you, you my brother. Right. But it's proven that the Lord is, is a racist. Or that he, he separated yeah. himself a, from yeah. us. Right, he's, he's a separatist. No, no, he separated us from the other nations. Like us, you got Puerto Rican. Like, nah, they, they want to All right, we say us, he so mean we, all these right. I was, I was looking at. That's us right yeah. here. Though. So we, we brothers, but he. What you're yeah. saying is that he singled us out. Yeah, he, but as oh, for good, he, he made us his chosen. Huh? But right now we at the bottom of the earth, the Mexican, the so-called Colombian, the black, we call it the bottom because we strayed away from his commandments. Uh, but he did separate us out to be the rulers of the earth. But so we, 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 we in slavery because we disobedient. But in the practice, when they came, they conquered us, right? They made us fight each other. Yeah. Now, so, now today, like he was telling me, they Patterson, like him coming up, like it was like the, the no? yeah we from right, right. but he was telling me that in Patterson as he was coming up, you had the Puerto Ricans versus the Dominican yeah, yeah, versus yeah. the uh, Colombians yeah. you know, versus this and versus right, that. Right. He was like it's, right. it was it was but Hispanic, who pushed that? Yeah. Who pushed that shit? These crackers pushed that. Know what I mean? They're they especially the war, right, especially man. in heavy game and game game neighborhoods. They take somebody and put them in another gang neighborhood. They pick him up from his neighborhood, drive him somewhere else, and put him in. They yell out that someone else's oh, territory. He's Peruvian, and, and all the Dominicans are coming and beat the shit out of him. And that will start a what a gang war. And, and that's the how white cops the, do that. Yeah, the crack, they do that. They always do I that because they movie, what? Yeah. They love to see how people fight. Back in the day, it was hard to get your hands on a 38 special. Yeah. Now today, motherfuckers got AK-47s, Mac 11s. How do we get all these guns in our neighborhood? And the technology got greater. They should be able to stop all these guns and shit. This but how did they get here? How do all these drugs get here? Like, crackers. But when they come here, what neighborhoods do they come to? The black and Hispanic community. Why to destroy the black and Hispanic community? Why so we can destroy ourselves? And you get caught and they in Patterson. If you get caught in Patterson with a brick of dope, they probably, for your first charge, they probably give you probation. But get caught in a cracker town with that shit, they give you 18 months. First charge, 18 months. If you get caught amongst your people with it, selling it to your people, slap on the wrist, you get probation. Two years probation, give them a program. But as soon as you get caught amongst them with it, first charge, you get 18 months. State prison. Why is that? Because you niggas can sell it to your own people. These kind of fools though, you niggas and you spit, you can this. sell it to your own people, but don't sell it to my people. So I can bought it here. What? To you destroy can. yourself. To keep what? The system running. Because look, if our people wasn't so violent, if our people wasn't so worked up, and we stopped the violence and the crime went down, right? Hey, hold on, hold on. I don't do things Sorry, bother. No yeah, I appreciate it. Right? If, if our people was easy, what would jails be for? They'd Wouldn't be the jail league. system crumble? Look, these crackers make money off of jail business. Hell yeah! Yo, you got um, the dude from Price is Right, the old dude. What's his name? Bob Barker. Bob Barker, this motherfucker had he got plantations. The he had soaps and Bob Barker. Slaves. And he had, and he got, he got money That's investing the into prison. So if you know a person soap, that the soap say Bob Barker, like, yeah, yeah, but he got, he got different shit. Old. But so his man so investment, this an old ass dude. He, like, he had slave plantations and he also yeah, invested in prison system. Like the a person that invests in a prison system would want people to fill it up. That's why they need to be judge. Yeah, they will want, they will want people. But they will yeah, want people Stop. to fill it up. Like we we consume Matter the population fact, of, of uh, drop that. prison. Give me uh, Isaiah. Everybody on this list 20. is is the majority population in all prisons. Right, right. That's what we about to get. Not even in Jersey. But, why you think? In the country. Hey, hey, why you think? You, you think that's a coincidence? Studies show that crackers do as much crimes as us. But do you see them in the jails? Hell no. 
Yo, this nigga 256. They got me locked in jail and let the white boys free. You be shocked as hell. <laughs> He yeah. yeah. was evil as hell, but that was a, a true saying, right? So what's the a form of slavery that you're trying to portray right now? Like that? Hold well, look, 42? 42, right here, I know what that is. Oh, okay, read that. He was right, but it's in the scriptures, read. Isaiah 42, 22. Right. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. The blacks and the Spanish, like you Puerto Rican, right? You know what, what, what that name comes from? You know what Puerto Rican means? Puerto Rico meaning rich port. Rich port? Right. And Columbus named it that land because when he came in, he found so much gold, he found so much diamonds, he found everything. The woman was so beautiful, and he raped, he robbed, and he murdered the whole island of Puerto Rico. And when he left, he called it Puerto Rico, which is rich folk. So that's a slave name. So when we, we be pissed off seeing our people running around here celebrating the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Oh, Puerto Rico! But it's really based on. Basically, they celebrate in the slave names. That's like me, the, the, the blacks no different. They walk around celebrating the African Heritage Parade. And they do it downtown North he came every year. To huh? America, he basically slaughtered. He, he ain't never he come to the Americas. He came to the, the Caribbean Indian, the island. Natives. Yeah, he saw the, the natives Indian in the island. They, they, they murdered him. Pretty yeah. much, right? Like, yeah, murder, rape, robbery, and murder. They called the island Puerto Rico. And they, they brought the African Americans over, over, the over here. here. And when they brought us over here, the, the Indians knew we was their brothers. They was taking us inside of their tents. They was helping us escape. Yeah, movies on that. Man. Yeah, it's movies on that. Because we spoke Hebrew and they spoke Hebrew. So they knew we was their long lost brothers. brothers. Yeah, yeah they, they like, oh shit, I, they brought up, they was helping us out. Yo, the crackers was trying to, hold up, the crackers was trying to make deals like, look, y'all Indians, I'm gonna set y'all over these Negroes, keep them enslaved. And the crack, they'd say, all right, we'll do it. Yeah. The crackers would come back and see the Negroes sitting on thrones. Yeah. And the Indians was giving the Negroes choices of their women. They, was, they wasn't giving them their wives, but they had daughters. They'd be like, look, so they want, I'm gonna give they, you my daughter. Yeah. You, you good, you want something to eat? Taking them in, the crackers brother. ain't like that. Yeah. But you know what started happening? You start, you had a bunch of sallow ass niggas joining hands with the crackers, crackers. and the Indians stopped taking us in. Yep. They stopped dealing and with they us. They saw it as a train, like yeah, a train. Yeah, cause niggas started, niggas started doing bullshit, man. It's like you're trying to help somebody, but then he stabbed you in the back. That fucking you up. So you be like, man, I can't help you now. You know what I mean? After a while, niggas started selling out, being Uncle Tom, selling out to the crackers, giving our brothers the Indians up. So that killed that whole spirit of them taking us in like that. But, read. Hold right. up, read. It says, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. They've been robbed and spoiled, you read. They are all of them snares and hoes. We all snares and hoes. The modern day hoes would be what? Religious, man. Yeah. Why the Lord call these religions a hoe? Because once you get into these religions, and find the ways of these philosophies, it's hard to come out. Yeah. He said they are all snared in holes, read. And they are hid in prison houses. They said they are hid in what? Prison houses. The blacks and the Spanish are hid where? In prison houses. Man, you go through North now, half of these blocks is empty as hell. Right. All these niggas ain't got, where they at? Prison houses. Prison, prison houses. Prison houses. You know what I mean? I didn't even know. That's, that's the Bible. You probably got yeah. some yeah. there. <laughs> the Bible. <Wow. laughs> What's scripture? Isaiah 42 and 22. The book right there. Yeah. 42, chapter 42. Well, what Verse you just read right there. Yeah. 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 They are there. Yeah. 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 And the movie 1492 that showed you that. Yeah, you I get down here before you got here. That shit, the truth, man. <laughs> like, yo, I gotta go, but like, hey, hey, give him a flyer. Eyes. Look, we out here every Saturday. It's probably for the next month or two. So, yeah, give him a flyer. My number on there. You got any questions? Call. Y'all do this just like y'all do it in North too, and like y'all go to like. Big, like, like Jersey City, like. Well, well Jersey Patterson. got three main cities. Is uh. Y'all got North, more people or Jersey just City, yeah. Patterson. It's just us. It's just us. Yo, man.
But we got brothers though. We got brothers in the city that we link up with. But as far we the Jersey kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. We from North, we've been putting it down there for a while. Everybody know who we is, it's time to move forward. Nah, so we came out here, bro. All right, yo, let's do this, man. Let me, let me see that fire. Let me see it. Make sure uh, everything right. All right, my dude, you know what it is. Let me get the uh hey, let me see that pin. Like I'm always open, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a spiritual dude, it's just like they there ain't no unity between like, you know, like people forget about I mean that's why I with the racist thing, I I understand how that's how that right, right. Let's see, my, see my hand, right, right. Right. But like the way you're saying it, it makes a lot of sense. Because because the religion, you do they create get war among us, and it and it comes from white. It's unfortunate because I ain't a racist, but but, but like true. but like in these religions, they teach you that God is all love. So when we try to teach, we try to give people the truth and tell them that God ain't for everybody. They don't want to hear that. Oh yeah. no, God is love. You, that's hate, dude. Yeah, I mean it's like that. So it's pretty much yeah. But look, here go another script to add on to that the Lord is for the children of Israel. It's uh, yeah. Jeremiah 30 and 31. At the same time, say the Lord, will I be the God of all the families of Israel, all the families of Israel, so-called Negroes, and Spanish. Yeah, Negroes, so-called Negroes, and Spanish, and Native Americans. And it says, it says, at the same time, say the Lord, will I be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. You go right there. That's right. And, uh, there you go. I mean, a couple of scriptures on there. Uh, my number on the top, other brother number on the right. We love our people, man. We even drive out here. Let me check you out. You can't be a bullshit. Like, I'm open to everything. I just don't understand a lot of it. Like, when you break it down, in one day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish I'd stay here all night and listen to it. But we had a lot of fun. We probably leave here with him if he ain't going to get some work. So we might leave early. Not only we come out here for our people, the brother too. Because I met him through a brother. You know what I mean? So we come, we chill with him. We can drink a little bit. Because drinking in this country, you can drink. It's yeah, not, I have a beer, beer, the Bible sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, we do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the whole unity thing, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, there's a lot of, the only thing I don't understand is just the, the crime that goes on among us against each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, like being against each other when we're supposed to be brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like the white man. They put us in the cities together. So we would fight and rob so each other, be jealous of each other, and all types of things like that. We but, can't prosper like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then if you try, deep. but look, this is you try, right? So you got talent. Now they got basketball for you. Or they got singing and rapping and all that. Now you got some type of talent. Now guess what? As soon as you get up there, you, get, you start to get that good money, that's big money, you have to sell your soul. They're going to Illuminati going to come. They're going to ask you about it. Yeah, lunch break. Sexual ritual. Doing some work for the sake of the black people. They can't get as long as that we stay. Yeah, I'm telling them more. Yo, like this home away from home, Freemason. man. Exactly. Home, That's man. what everybody in the industry is now. Uh, Rick Ross, uh, Jamie Foxx, like Jay Z, Jay Z, um, anybody DMX, that's like, yeah, well, well, he was, 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 like the pop. Pop, did they Pop. kill Pop because he broke when he was trying to... Yeah, Pop, I don't get that. You got to buy the ticket. You got to uh, go, you know, get his uh, truck. 
Death Row? Yeah, but they did. Oh, oh, the shit about Pop Pop trying to get him back in his thing. Instead of doing what they wanted to do. He said he wanted to get his stuff. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take a lunch, bro. I got my position. He said in the interview with the lady, he said, uh, I ain't sell myself. I can look in the mirror and I can, I can see myself or something, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, he trying to redeem himself. But what's but the thing about But once them, they did that, they was like, he got to go. Once you say your soul, you know what I mean? They gonna, if you try to bang on them, they gonna take your life. Yeah. So it's best to not do nothing, but like, you say you come up in the industry and you're a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you got an influence on the world, yeah. they want you to do yeah. it in a certain yeah. way to keep your people sleeping. Exactly. Like, these rappers today, like T.I. know, uh, don't go and track me. Like, yeah. they, they push a vibration out to like, uh, uh, go Whoa. get money. Like, the motivation, yeah. like, Jim Jeezy, yeah. yeah. Whole ratchet to yeah, yeah. You keep you sleeping the white yeah. man that. That's why you gonna sell millions. Right? It's like that. But if, and once they do blow up, they, they finding a reason to, to lock them down right away. You know, but check this out. Say it's your Jesus, all of a sudden wake up and be like, you know what? I'm for my people now. Guess what? He's gonna lose his money. He's gonna take away his money. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna stop killing that. He's gonna stop being on TV as much. Much videos, album sales go down. Because the Illuminati or the Freemasons. All they are is the, the, the bankers, the Rothschilds, the big, the big girls, all the all the so Jewish people that run the earth. They run the earth. That's all. That's all. Who that is? Hey yo, man.